Um, we got a big round of applause for uh, Steph and for Trey. And now it gives me very great pleasure to ask the father of the bride to come up and speak. Hello friends, uh, before I start, is there a doctor in the audience? I have a severe shoulder pain for the past three months by writing checks, don't stop checks. <laughs> In uh, most wedding receptions I have attended to, I have heard the bride's father saying, we have lost our daughter but gained a son. Which is a common sentence in most of the receptions. I'm not going to say that because uh, Suresh, Julian, is uh, more than his son. He's an admirer. He's a, he's a fan of my humor. And I enjoy his sense of humor. In uh, Sri Lanka, I where I studied law. My first year was a real, I was a very, very careful, very studious person. In the second year, my concentration went out of the windows. <laughs> because in the second year, I mean, I was in the second year, they joined a pretty girl in the first year. <laughs> she, when I made inquiries through CIA and KGB, I was told that uh, she's the daughter of an irrigation engineer, sister-in-law of a very well-known politician in Jaffna, and a niece of the eminent criminal lawyer in Sri Lanka. And uh, the three years afterwards was our romance at law college and uh, that was uh, at the end of my uh, end of my studies I qualified as a lawyer and uh, I got married to her. During the term of my romance and after our married wife, during our married life she was an admirer of my jokes, of my humor. <laughs> but that lasted only 10 years. Either the following 10 years, she must have become a very serious mother, worried about life and uh, income and expenses. But I was compensated in, on the other side by the arrival, by my meeting of a young, pretty girl. This none other than who was born 10 years after my marriage. For her, I was a hero. Like, uh, like all daughters, I was a hero. And uh, from the small, tiny age when she was in the cot, whatever I say, whatever, whatever I say, she enjoys, she smiles at me. And that continued for a very long time until, say, about uh, 18 months back. 
she came and uh, told us that uh, she has met somebody, but uh, will not proceed further until we give the approval in the real Indian Tamil sense. Approval. <laughs> so we agreed and asked him to uh, bring him or call him uh, for an interview by the, <laughs> by the approval interview panel as if they <coughs> post for the White House post. There walks in our hero. Uh, it was love at first sight for me. <laughs> and uh, I'm not sure what my wife thought. We you never discussed this. <laughs> and uh, uh, I'm sure he must have been extremely happy about uh, his uh, about me and my wife. And I was very, very impressed with his uh, sense of humor and uh, uh, and gentle conduct. Some time passed and he telephoned us one day that he wanted to see us without Jay. He wanted to see us in office. Um, I said, I asked why. He said, no, it's a good, it's a good thing. But I like to see in office. He came to office bringing some lunch. I asked my why do I bring lunch? No, I am going to take your lunch hour, so that let us have lunch and discuss. And uh, over lunch he said, I am going to propose to your daughter, but for that I need your permission. See, that showed his gentleman that he could have proposed, say to her, but for, even for proposing, he wanted our permission. Anyway, and uh, he also said that uh, you should, I, we should not disclose that to Jay that he's going to do that. He was waiting for a good date sometime in June last year, I think. Um, and and the story goes on from there. Let's just rest of the story you know. After during that time, we met his family. The matriarch of the Albert family. Miriam greatly impressed us. I was very happy to see her, I think, during the Christmas season. We also met his sisters and the children. And at the civil ceremony, we met the rest of the family. And yesterday, at the Tamil, first Tamil religious function, we met the rest of the family. My family, Bimal family, has now extended the big family of Bimal Albert. And uh, this one great uh, family. When we say, uh, when we meet at home, he always insists that I must uh, crack, some, crack a joke on uh, anything. So that he can laugh, can I have one of his great laughs? So each day, when you know, I start, there's a conversation, I end the conclude the conversation with a joke. So today also, I'm going to conclude with a joke which he will understand and he will appreciate. <laughs> a man walked into a big bookshop, say foils, and he approached the receptionist and asked. We can find books like Man, Controller of the House, How to Rule the House, How to Be the Man of the House. The receptionist politely said, Sir, if you are looking for children's books of fiction, go to the next floor. <laughs> My wife and I. I have passed 40 years of married life. Many of you in the audience and uh, Suresh himself might ask me, how was that possible? <laughs> well, I adopt a policy which, uh, which I'm going to disclose to you. 
I follow the Marx and Spencer policy. MLS. Which is, if you try to make a complaint to Marx and Spencer, they uphold. The customer is always right. They don't argue with you. There's no complaint department in Marx and Spencer. You go and say something that this shirt was defective, they immediately change it. Or they will give a cash payment if, it, if you produce a receipt. Otherwise, it's immediately replaced. That is Marx and Spencer policy. Customer is always right. In matrimonial life, married life, the wife is always right. <laughs> that is the secret of my life. And if you adopt that, you will have a long period of life. <laughs> Thank you very much. I actually haven't prepared anything, unlike these people who say they haven't prepared anything. Um, I just wanted to say thank you. I'm so moved uh, today, yesterday, just all of this, this, the love that I feel, and you know, all of you guys coming um, all the way down from across the world in some cases. Um, it just means a lot. So I wanted to thank you all. Um, I want to thank my new family for welcoming me with all their heart. It means a lot. As an only child, like family, I, you know, the family's growing up. My dad said, I'm very happy about that. Um, and, and speaking of family, I want to thank my parents uh, more than anything um, for everything, for, for this obviously and the wedding and um, for making me who I am and uh, for making me the kind of person that I love and, and be loved by an amazing man like this. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank you. 